We continue now at the top of Daf Lamed Zayin on the base of Masach Shabbos. This is Shabbos Daf 37b. The Gemara just quoted Rav Oshia that if you have uh, coals that were cut to them, you cover them with ashes, but then they started up, the flames started up again. It is mutter to do shahia. And the Gemara here tries to derive, Shma minam, it's damik v'yafelo mutter. We should derive from here that if you have a fully cooked item, but cooking it a little longer will benefit it, it is still mutter to do shahia, and presumably even without katum, because the Gemara understands that since the fire started up again, it's not considered katum. Rashi here explains what does it mean, mitztamik. Mitztamik means mismait v'chavitz. It gets smaller, essentially. Lashon shadayim tzomkin, kemo shatomer, v'lashon tzivan itztave. V'lashon shadayim nestatik, so that's a grammatical part of Rashi. But the point is, mitztamik means that the cooking shrinks it a little bit, but that's an improvement. That's going to be mutter, and Rashi says, mutter lahashosen bekira. The shahiyah and the kira is okay. The e lob and mitzdamik v'yafelo come. And Rashi says, if we're not talking about mitzdamik v'yafelo, if it's not improving at all, my osos will ashmina. It wouldn't be a chiddush at all. El al karchach b'mitzdamik v'yafelo come. Obviously, that's the chiddush of Ravoshia, That mitzdamik v'yafelo is okay. Va'afiloach ilo gazr misham chito yholo v'nespashal kol tzarcho. As long as it was fully cooked, you don't have a problem. V'ton achav and lashmina devein and shochmu kol tzarcho mi ba'od yom. The idea is it has to be fully cooked, fully warmed up. Uh, before Shabbos begins. So the Gemara says, isn't this a raya that mitztamik v'yofalo is mutter? And the Gemara says, no, shani yochad, it's different over here. The kitma, because it was kotum. And Rashi says, shani yochad, the kitma, v'goli daite delonicha lebitzmuke. He's showing when he puts the ashes on top of these coals, he's showing he's not interested in the mitztamik. It's not essentially, it's not mitztamik v'yofalo, he has no interest. So the Gemara says, yochi, if so, my lamemer, that seems obvious. So the Gemara says, no, the Chiddush is that since the fire started up again, therefore it's a bit of a Chiddush. Ma'u de Tema, what might I have said? Once the fire starts up uh, anew, it doesn't matter that it was Kitma, everything starts over again. Kamash no, since it was Kitma, the halacha is that Mitztamek uh, V'yafalo is okay in such a situation. Amar Rabbi Barbarchan, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Barbarchan says in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Kitma V'huvara, the same case, it was Katam, but then the fire started up again. You're allowed to do shahiyah with uh, items that are fully cooked. Even gecholim of rosem, Rashi says these were coals that were a little hotter than normal coals. So even that is okay. So again, this is, the Gemara tries to bring the exact same proof. Mutter doesn't this show that the fire is going strong once again, and it's improving a little bit, but it's still shahiyah apparently is mutter. Again, the Gemara says, Shani yochad the kitma. No, it's different over here because it was katam. Yochi my lemeimer. If so, that seems obvious. Again, the Gemara says, Huvaro et strichle. Since the fire started up again from new, that's the chiddush. But the Gemara says, Hainu hach. That's the same chiddush twice. Rabbi Oshia just said that chiddush. Rabbi Yochanan saying the same chiddush again. The Gemara says, No, gecholim shall rosem et strichle. Essentially, he is saying the same chiddush, but he's adding that it's by gecholim shall rosem that that uh, chiddush applies even by these coals which burn uh, which burn stronger. Gemara now says, and this gets into the Psaq Halacha, now we're really getting into the Psaq, what do we hold by Shehiyah? Do you need it to be Garof of the Katam or not? So Amr Rav Shesha's Amr Rav Yochanan, Rav Shesha says in the name of Rav Yochanan, Kira she sikua begafis of Eitzim, mashin alei alchamen shalohuchmu kol tzorchan, v'tavshil shaloh bishal kol tzorchu, you're even allowed to do Shehiyah if it was not a fully cooked item. Akar, once you take it off the flame on Shabbos, lo yachzir, you shouldn't do chazara, ad she yigrof, or ad she yitin efer, until it's Garof or until it's Katam. So the Gemara understands Kasava of Yochanan holds Masnisan Lahachsir Tnan that our Mishnah was talking about Chazara. That's why you need a Garif a Katam. Avolishos Mashin Afavisha Eno Garif Eno Katam. But apparently Rabbi Yochanan is lenient, and Rabbi Yochanan apparently goes like the opinion uh, that we quoted before of Chananya that you don't need Garif a Katam when it comes to Shehiyah. So now Rava questions the need for Rabbi Yochanan to even teach these halachas. Amar Rava Rava says Travayo Tenani. Both halachas that Rabbi Yochanan taught regarding Shehiya and Chazara, we can find them in Mishnayis. Number one, Lishos Tanina. When it comes to Shehiya, we have a Mishnah that says as follows, Ein nosen es hapas beso chatana, you can't put the uh, bread inside the oven, im chashecha, before it gets dark, talking about Shehiya. Below charora agave gecholim, you can't put the cake on top of the coals. El kadesh shiyukrum upana, unless you have enough time that the top of it can become, uh, the face of it can become crusted from the heat. Hakarm upana, shari. Apparently, if it's karma pana, it is permitted. And Rashi explains, hakarma pana shari v'hainu lo bishal kol tzarcho. That's really not fully cooked. V'tanur lav gar v'katum. And by definition, a tanur, a tanur is slightly different than a kira. A tanur becomes narrow at the top. It's a, it's a little more, it's a little hotter, and therefore it's not considered gar v'katum. 
V'inami garif betanur lo mahanya grefa. Grefa doesn't work by a tanur. Kedet nan masnisin. That's that's what it says in the Mishnah. V'kol shekain past that daidel of v'shula yahavi v'gavio. Certainly that's true by bread, which the whole point is you're putting it in there in order to cook it, in order to uh, cook it fully. So apparently shehi is permitted by a tanur, even though it's not garif v'katim. So that's the first Mishnah. Lahachzer nami tanina. When it comes to chazara, also we have a Mishnah. It says beis beis hilol omrim af machzirin. Beis Hillel say that you're allowed to do Chazara. The Ad Kan Lo Kasharu Beis Hillel, and we know that Beis Hillel only allowed it. Al Begrufuk Tuma was only allowed by Grufuk Tuma. Abu B'Shein a Grufuk Tuma Lo. Our Mishnah certainly did not allow Chazara without Grufuk Tuma, which is exactly what Rabbi Yochanan said. So everything that uh, Rabbi Yochanan said is in the Mishnah. And Rashi here explains the Ad Kan Lo Sharu V'Chul Demas Nisan Al Achash Yigruf Kai. Our Mishnah was clearly after Grufa. The Katani Lo Yitan Ad Shi Yigruf. Vein Laman Damer Lo Yishu. Vein Laman Damer Lo Yachsum. He Kol Makom. Chazara de Seifa Gar of Mahadir. Every no matter how you read the mission in the beginning, whether it was Shir Chazara, certainly the end of the mission was requiring Gar of by Chazara. So the Gemara says Rav Sheshas when Rav Sheshas Rav Sheshas was quoting Rav Yochanan before when Rav Sheshas said this. Why is he saying things that are in the Mishnah? Nami diyukah the Masis and Kamashmon. He's really just telling us uh, diyukim that we could in fact learn out from the Mishnah. Rashi here now explains what we actually hold or what, or what Rashi uh, what the meaning was where Rashi was. Uh, it was just a diuk in the Mishnah that if the uh, face of it is crusted over, is crusted over, then it's permissible. That's only a diuk. So he wanted to teach it to us explicitly. So now Rashi says, We who actually do shahia, uh, even when it's not garuf, we rely on the position of chananya. Uh, since we just quoted the Stam Mishnah like chananya. Kedomar ha karmushari. That's the uh, the diak karmushari. Ve'alva gav lo bishal kol tzarcho, and that's true even if it's not fully cooked. Ve'yomer Rav Sheshes mishmed Rav Yochanan kavasi. We see that Rav Sheshes says this in the name of Rav Yochanan. The masnis and the pirkan mishem chazara hu debay grufa, and it would emerge according to what we hold. Our mishnah is only requiring grufa for chazara. Avalisha slova. When it comes to shia, that's not the case. V'chol hani amoroi de asri savri masnis and lishos nan. All those amoroi that you find who answer this. They obviously hold that our Mishnah is talking about Shahiyah, and Shahiyah re- re- requires Gar of Akatim, but we uh, follow Rabbi Yochanan and do not hold like that. That's what Rashi says. Gemara now continues this discussion. Uh, again, this is really a continuation of the Psak Halacha. So, Amr of Shmuel Bar Yehuda, Amr of Yochanan. Uh, Rav Shmuel Bar Yehuda says in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Kirish is Siku Begafis of Eitzim, Mashin Ola Tavshel Shabishal Kal Tzorch, of Echamin Shukhma Kal Tzorchan, Vafilam Itzdamak Viyafalo. Again, if you have a Kira, and it's uh, you're using gefes the eitzim. You are allowed to do shahia even if it is mitzdamik v'yafalo. Amar lehumi the rabbanim the rav shmuel bar yehuda. So a certain of the rabban, one of the rabban, and said to rav shmuel bar yehuda, "Ha rav shmuel dami tarvayim mitzdamik v'yafalo aser." Don't rav and shmuel both say that mitzdamik v'yafalo is a problem. How could you say it's permitted? Amar leh said to him, "Atu leis anayad anayad." Do you think I didn't know that? The uh, Amar Rav Yosef, Amar Rav Yehuda, Amar Shmuel, because Rav Yosef says the name of Rav Yehuda, the name of Shmuel, Mitzdamik v'yafalo aser. Of course, Mitzdamik v'yafalo is aser. However, Kiko Amina Lach Rav Yochanan Kamina. I was just telling you, according to the position of Rav Yochanan, Rav Yochanan would be lenient, even though uh, Rav and Shmuel might be strict. Amar Le Rav Ukva Mimisha Le Rav Ashi. Rav Ukva from Mishan said to Rav Ashi, Atun de Mekarvisu Le Rav Shmuel. You who who live near the area of Rav and Shmuel. Avidu Karabu Shmuel, you should follow the position of Rabu Shmuel. However, Anon, Navid Karab Yochanan, we will follow the lenient position of Rabbi Yochanan. Amr Le Abai, Rav Yosef, Abai said to Rav Yosef, Ma'u Lishos, what is the halacha by Shehi? Are we lenient that you don't need Gara for Katam? Amr Le said, Har Rabbi Yehuda, Mashu Lev Achel. Rabbi Yehuda would do Shehi and he would eat. Amr Le said to him, Bar Minei to Rabbi Yehuda, I don't want to know the position of Rabbi Yehuda. Forget about Rabbi Yehuda. The cave in the Mesukan who, Afilo Bishab is Nami Shari. Rav Yehuda was uh, someone he regularly got sick, and therefore he he even on Shabbos would have been allowed to do this kind of cooking. Uh, Shari Lemevedle, he he would have been allowed to do this. Leave Allah my, but what's the Allah by a regular person who's healthy? Is it permissible to do this shahi or not? Amar Lei Setim Besura Mashu in Sura they would do it. Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak Mari Do Uv Dehave U Mashu Lei Viachal because Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak he was the he was Mari Do Uv Dehave. He says means he was very medactic in what he did, and he would in fact do this shahi. Amr Rav Ashi, Rav Ashi says, Ka'imna kamei de Rav Huna v'shoyin le kasa de harsan of Achel. He says, I was standing before Rav Huna, and uh, they did shahiyah with kasa de harsana, and he ate it. It was no problem. Rashi says, what's kasa de harsana? 
Dogim hamevusholim b'shamlan b'kamach. It refers to fish that are cooked together in their oil together with flour. So he saw that he was lenient. V'lo yadana, however, I don't know. Imishim the kasavar mitzdamik v'yafalom water. One possibility is that he holds mitzdamik v'yafalom is okay. Imishim the cave and this be micha mitzdamik v'ralohu. There is another possibility that since there's flour in this uh, in this fish item, it's actually mitzdamik v'ralo. It's actually bad if it shrinks, and therefore leaving it on is not going to improve it at all anyway. So that's an, uh, an additional reason to permit it. Amar of Nachman of Nachman says mitzdamik v'yafalom aser. The halacha is mitzdamik v'yafalom is aser. Mitzdamik v'ralo mutter. And if it's mitzdamik v'ralo, then it is mutter. Klolo de milsa, the general rule is, kol de isbe micha mitzdamik v'ralo. Anything with flour, if it shrinks, it's going to be bad. Levarmi tavshil, the lift except for tavshil that contains turnips. The alpha gav de isbe micha, even though it has flour, mitzdamik v'yafalo, that's still considered yafa to be mitzdamik. A mitzdamik v'yafalo, who it's still mitzdamik v'yafalo. Vahani mila de isbe bistra, but that's only true if it has meat. Avo less be bistra mitzdamik v'ralohu, but actually, if it if it does not have meat, it reverts even with the turnips. It reverts back to being mitzdamik v'ralo. Rashi explains over here the is be bistra has meat mitzdamik v'yafalo shashuman habasrim as shaber koach alefes. The fat of the meat breaks the strength of the turnip. Kedamar v'brachas, as it says in brachas, and the Gemara then continues v'chi is be bistra nami lo amen. Even when it has meat, we we uh, only said it. Ela de lo kaboy lo orchen. If you don't need it for guests, I will kaboy lo lo orchen mitzamek viralo. If you have guests that you're feeding, automatically it's mitzamek viralo. Rashi explains lo orchen tzar chatiches chashuvos lossum lefneim. When a person has guests, they want to have big pieces to give to them. Vein derech kava betavshel mitzamek. It's not nice to give a tavshel which is shrinking. Shein habas or nikarbo. Such a tavshel, the the meat is not clearly recognizable. And the Gemara then finishes off, Lifta daisa v'tamri mitzdamik v'ralo. And when it comes to lifta, which is something made out of figs, daisa is a grain type of an item, and tamri is a dates item. Those things are all, if they shrink, it's considered bad. The Gemara says, Bo minei rab, me rabbi chiyah bar Abba. They ask rabbi chiyah bar Abba the following question. We'll see the question that they ask rabbi chiyah bar Abba in the next daf, on daf lam and ches and aleph, and we'll see that in the next video.